Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. Last episode we started Recipe for Disaster, completing two of the eight subquests and finishing up with our eyes on the third. For the third subquest, the Dwarf, we need to complete the Fishing Contest quest, so that's where we're headed first. We start this quest by talking to either of the dwarves just outside the entrance of White Wolf Mountain Tunnel. He tells us that to earn his trust, he'd like us to win the Heminster Fishing Trophy and give it to him. Dwarves like golden things, and well, this trophy is pretty golden. By earning his trust, he'll let us use the Mountain Tunnel. They gave me the Fishing Contest Pass to enter the contest, I need to bring them back the Heminster Fishing Trophy. I think it's over here. Pretty sure that it's around this way. Funny enough, they don't give you any direction at all. Just Heminster, whatever that is. Oh. It is a place. I thought it was a person's name, but it is a place. Hemisphere is this area. Never knew that. Right, let's head over there. What on earth is that guy wearing on his back? Oh, I've never seen that. Or that hat. I've never seen that hat either. Is that the Christmas event? I didn't do it. I might do that at some point, just in case that is a reward for me, because it looks fucking cool. Here we go. There's the trophy there. Competition pass, please. There we go. Move on through. Talk to Bonzo to enter the competition. Let's talk to Bonzo. Yes, please. Five GP. I'll enter the competition, please. We've got all the fishermen. It's time to roll. Fish in the spot by the willow tree. And the sinister stranger, you fish by the pipes. I don't have a net on me. Do I need a net? I think I need a net. Uh, a rod, actually. Yep, yeah, I'm an idiot. Right, I need to go to the bank and get uh, a rod. Uh... I haven't got a rod, mate. Do I have to talk to you again? Can you give me a rod? Can you give me a rod, Big Dave? No, right, I need I need a rod and some bait. Definitely need a rod and some bait. Let's get out of here. Right, fishing rod, and I have a single bit of bait. That is not ideal. Let's go and buy some more in Catherby. Right, there we go. Got some more of that. Let's head back. Right, can I just go now, or do I have to buy another entry? Oh, I can go. Right, so I think I want a big fish, I assume. Got some sardines. Oh, here we go. Let's see who caught the bigger fish. I mean, I only got some sardines. I don't think it's going to go very well. The Stranger in Black. Right, okay. Do we just go again? Okay, let's just go again then. Okay, again, we've caught some sardines. Right, this guy keeps winning. Uh, I feel like I, I, this isn't the best way to do this. Like, there's some pipes here. I feel like this has probably something to do with it. Sewage pipe. I'm going to try one more time. Okay, I've caught three sardines again. I don't think it's going to work. I think I need to do something with these pipes over here. Yeah, right, okay. Let's talk to this guy. Who are you? My name's Vlad and I come from far away. You're a vampire, aren't you? So he's a vampire. So he's a vampire, so I think I have to really do something with garlic, maybe? Um, with these pipes. Oh, dragon impling. Can't catch that. Let's see if there's some garlic in this drawer, maybe. Right, definitely think there's going to be, yeah, use for some garlic here to put this guy off. And I think you have to put it in that pipe. Uh, so I just need to find some garlic. Right, so the only place I actually know where to get garlic, I think, is in Draenor. There's probably a shop that I can buy it from. I mean, I can check the chest in the Lumbridge basement quickly. Mm, no garlic. Right, so let's go to Draenor. And I think it's in that guy's house. The one that does we do Vampire Slayer with. Right, I can't remember. I think it's Ned. I know he's a sailor. No, it's not Ned, is it? It's this guy, Morgan. Here we go. Upstairs in yours. Uh, there we go. That's the cupboard. Nice. Got some garlic. Uh, can I take more than one? Yeah, I'm going to take a couple. And now let's head back to the fishing contest. Let's pay him. Wait for the vampire to... Oh, maybe I should have actually put it in first. I think I fucked that up. Oh, no. It's worked anyway. Oh, he's dying. Yeah, okay, cool. What's that glassy smell? I think I'll move over here instead. Perfect. Now I'm going to get his fishing spot. Nice. And if we fish now, hopefully... We get more than sardines or we get the same thing these sardines are just bigger what the fuck how's he done that then a stranger one anyway oh i'm incredibly confused now how did he win i've been fishing over here is it random there's no way that that was that was random but he still won even though he was over there well, i'm gonna try it again anyway i'm gonna drop that into the wall pipe and then we're gonna pay and see what happens so now i'm gonna see him walk over there now he's walking back, and now we have the spot by the pipes, and we're still getting sardines. Who's gonna win now? Big Dave? I didn't even realize he was playing. All right, let's talk to Big Dave then. This is his lucky spot, so we've gotta move Big Dave as well, so you're the champ. Ain't nobody better at fishing around here than me. He doesn't say anything. Do you have any tips for me? Old Grandpa Jack does. He lives in the house just outside the gate. Grandpa Jack, and he won it four years in a row. Where's Grandpa Jack? Oh, there he is. Let's talk to Grandpa Jack. Are you entering the competition? Oh, we go. Don't suppose you could give me any hints. You sometimes get these really big fish in the water just by the outflow pipes. I think there's some kind of carp. Tried to get a spot around there. The best sort of bait for them is red vine worms. I used to get them from MacGruber's Wood, north of here. Just dig around in the red vines up there. But be careful of the guard dogs. 
Okay, I'm sure you'll find something to put off. After all, there must be a kitchen around here with some garlic in it. Perhaps Sears Village or Ardy. Right, okay, cool, so we're doing it wrong. I was using the wrong bait. I need to find red vine worms in this place up here. There's some vines there. He said dig around there, so there's some vines I can check. Can I just walk into this place? I don't think so. No, I've got to go around the back. I don't know if I need a spade, because he did say dig. So I'm going to go and grab a spade. I'm also going to drop this bait off. Fortunately, I took three garlics. I wasted two of them. Who knew fishing contests would give me so much trouble? Right, let's squeeze through here. There's some vines over here. Let's check these vines. There we go. Let's get a couple of these things. Right, there we go. Right, let's head back. Hopefully, we've got everything now. So I'm going to stash the garlic into the pipe. I've got the correct bait. Got a fishing rod. And with all that, we should be able to get a bigger fish now. Right, here we go. Let's enter for the... Hopefully last time, we'll stick the garlic in the pipe. There we go. Let's pay Bonzo. He's going to walk over there. Doesn't like the pipes. Walk back, and we get that spot, and now we have the correct bait, so let's bait it. Come on. Hey, there we go. Raw giant carp. Hopefully we win. You hand over your catch. We have a new winner. Here we go. The heroic looking person who was fishing by the pipes has caught the biggest carp I've ever seen since Grandpa Jack used to compete. You're given the Hemmings the Fishing Trophy. Winner, winner. Right. I think I can now go and give this back to the dwarf at the side of White Wolf Mountain. I think I can go back to either dwarf because there's two on both entrances and this one's close to get to from uh, teleport. So let's teleport to Camelot. There he is, Vestry. Have you won yet? Yeah, it's the same person, somehow. I have. That's brilliant. Do you have the trophy with you? Here you go. Even more shiny and gold than I thought possible. There we go. One quest point. 2.4k fishing, access to the White Wolf Mountain Tunnel, and that gives us access to the third subquest of Recipe for Disaster. So now we can go back to Recipe for Disaster and free the Mountain Dwarf. Let's go. All right, let's head back in and let's inspect the dwarf. How do I protect you, I wonder? To protect our short angry friend from the Colorimenser's magic, I suggest that you seek his father within the mountain tunnel that he guards. His fondness for rock cake could prove key in freeing him. Okay, cool. So back to where we just came from. And we need to find his father, who didn't get named. It's just as the dwarf's dad. And apparently Aris said that he likes rock cakes. Right, so we're looking for a dwarf that is the dad of the guy in Lumbridge. So I don't know if his name's going to be father something or something along those lines. An old dwarf, that must be the dad. This is Holloy. Let's trade this guy quickly and see what he has on him. Crossbow shop? Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's talk to the old dwarf, assuming that's his dad. Your son, the one who guards the tunnel entrance. Oh, I didn't even realize it's the same guy. Well, he's at a special meeting and he's frozen by the culinary mancer. He's in a time bubble. I need your rock cakes to free him from it. You're delusional. Never would old Rohat give away a special recipe. Not for all the golden nectar from the rising sun. All the golden nectar for the rising sun. That's all he says. Ah, here we go. I have to investigate how to make the beer that Rohat likes. Right, I've got to be someone else I can talk to around here. Maybe Holloy? Uh, no. He's just telling me about crossbows. What about Captain Ninto? Is that a gnome? There's a gnome down here. What's he doing? Join the local hospitality, he's pissed. Dwarven beer's kind of Moorish after the fifth pint. Right, he doesn't tell me anything. What about Korvac, Dwarven engineer. Hello. He doesn't tell me either. I mean, it's not going to be a Dwarven stout, is it? Use that on Rohak. Nothing happens. Not for all the golden nectar from the rising sun. What is the rising sun? That must be a pub, right? I'm going to search some of these crates. Right, nothing in the crates. Okay, so no one's really told me anything here other than all I've got is the rising sun. All the nectar in the rising sun. I don't know if that's the pub. Can I type in rising sun? No. I don't know if the map tells me what pubs there are. That's just pub. So I know that is the Blue Moon Inn or something like that. I'm wondering if the rising sun is 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 this one here in Sears Village. I think I'm probably have to go there anyway because I'm not, I'm not getting anything else from anyone. I'm going to take a Dwarven Stout just in case I need it. Let's examine Rohak real quick. No. Okay, let's head to that pub in Sears just because I'm not too sure what else to do. And hopefully this is the rising sun. I can't actually tell because I haven't got roofs on so I don't know the sign. That is a tree. Doesn't look like that would be the rising sun, but let's go in anyway. No, he's not telling me anything. I think there'll be a chat dialogue for it. What about upstairs? Nothing up here. Okay, that doesn't look to be the pub. Um, oh, maybe this pub here. The pub in Berthorpe. It's fairly close as well. There's no pub in Catherby. Could be the one in Falador. There is one pub in Ardy as well. So I think they're the three that I'm going to try. So I'm going to start off with Ardy. No, that's like the... Like a black horse or something, or a black winged horse. This doesn't look right. Let's talk to the bartender anyway. No, doesn't say anything. Right, let's go to Falador. What about this one? Oh, Rising Sun. That could easily be a Rising Sun. That sign there. Let's talk to Emily. What can I get you? Here we go. What can you tell me about dwarves and ale? I mean, what kind of ale do they drink? I know they enjoy my special recipe. Would you tell me? I could offer some in return. How about 100 gold? Okay, what about 200 gold? I don't have any gold on me. Let me go grab some gold. 200 gold. Hand it over and I'll tell you the secret. The secret's in the gold. 
Drop a coin into an Asgarnian ale and you get this weird golden ale that the dwarves seem to love. Okay, perfect. Asgarnian ale. I need one of those then. Right, do you sell an Asgarnian ale? Here we go. We got. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's get the Asgarnian ale, please. And then let's drop a coin into it. There we go. We now have an Asgarnian. As Goldian Ale, even. Let's head back to the father and hopefully we can give him this. I'd be surprised if this is the whole subquest. It's been pretty quick to be honest. Right, where you at, Rohak? Here we go. Uh, should I use this on him? Or should I just keep it in my inventory? I'm going to talk to him first. Here, have a drink. You hand the ale to the dwarf who slurps it with the noise of a thousand seals celebrating a rain of fish. Whatever that means. Is that what I think it is? That's from the rising sun. Speaking of recipes, no, I swear I'll never tell. The dwarf nurses the very last drop of the pines if you really like more. Bollocks, I need to get more, don't I? Right, let's go back to Falador. Right, so I bought five. I'm going to stick a coin in each one. The reason I bought five is because that other gnome mentioned about drinking five pints. Absolutely no idea if there's any correlation there. That's a hint. Um, but I thought I'd get five anyway. Hopefully this is enough to get him pissed. Yeah, have a drink. There we go. Yeah, okay, that wasn't enough for him. Here's another one. And another one. And another one. There we go, so four look like the right number. All right, let's talk to him again. Do you think you could do me a favour? Something as simple as baking me some of your wonderful rock cakes. For a price, of course. Oh, I'm sure. How much gold do you want? 100 gold, no less. And you need to get the ingredients too. Milk, flour, egg, and a bowl of water. Bowl of water, not a dirty bucket. Right, okay, cool. So milk, flour, egg. I'm going to write this down just in case it's not in my quest log. Is it in the quest log? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Okay, easy. Um, I think I can get the majority of this stuff actually from Lumbridge in the new chest. So milk, flour, a bowl, and an egg. And then we fill up the bowl in the sink and we get a bowl of water. He didn't say a bowl of milk, did he? Mm, he did say dirty. Oh, it's a bucket of milk. That's weird. Okay, cool. Anyway, we've got the right stuff, so let's head back. He makes the cake. Don't know how. Is that him making it? Bloody hell, what's up with his body? Is that a special ingredient? Breaking his back? What is going on there? Rohak places the cake on the table. Hot cakes to my special recipe. Mmm, I think I remember this bit. I have a feeling that I need to wear gloves to pick this up because it's hot and he put it on the table. Yeah, your gloves sizzle with the heat from the hot rock cake. Cool, so graceful gloves count. Okay, cool, so do I just use this on the guy now? Yeah, cool, okay, right. Let's go. Let's head back. All right, let's use that. Definitely don't want to eat it. On the dwarf. Stop, what do you think you're doing? What? You can't feed him red hot rock cakes, you'll kill him. Find a way to cool them down. I hear there's a rather chilly reception on top of a rather icy mountain. Right, I've got to chill this down somehow on a rather icy mountain. So that was probably the... Oh, well, it's Ice Mountain. Yeah, it's got to be. Right, let's head to Ice Mountain. Oh, there's ice fiends here. Are they going to attack me? No. Is it the Oracle? Do I use it on her? Do I talk to her? Is it this white tree? Use that on the white tree. What about using it on a shabby tent? What about using it on an ice fiend? Did that work? No. What am I meant to do up here then? Can I just use it on the floor? There's snow everywhere. What if I killed one of these ice fiends? Oh, there we go. The dying breath of the ice fiend calls your hot rock cake. Fucking hell, I didn't expect that to work. Let's go. Right, let's go back to Lumbridge. Let's use this on the dwarf. Hey, there we go. One quest point, 1k cooking, 1k slayer. That's nice. And increase access to the chest. Three down, five to go. Right, next up, I'm going to do King Awawogi. You might be thinking, why? You need 70 cooking. That sounds like quite a high requirement. Well, I think I actually have 70 cooking in the bank, and I'll explain why. So, a couple of episodes ago, I said this. I've just noticed we have a bit of a food problem, so I think I'm going to need to go and do some fishing. And I got quite a few comments telling me about this shop in the Warriors Guild. I try to avoid spoiler or tip comments as much as I can. I appreciate the desire to help, but I'm trying to play as blind as possible, with no outside help. So in typical unguided fashion, I completely ignored everything you said, and instead I spent nearly 30 hours fishing. I appreciate the shop was probably a quick route to some food and not a long-term recommendation. Either way, fishing gave me XP and didn't cost anything but time. I started off barbarian fishing here, going from 58 to 70, and then from 70 to 76 I spent it in what is now one of my favourite places, the fishing guild. I had an absolute blast. AFK fishing is probably my new go-to thing to do when not recording, and this is the fruits of my labour. Over 1,500 raw tuna, 1,200 sawfish and 4,200 lobster, and some sharks too. I'm hoping that this can get me from 60 to 70 cooking. Let's go. Right, so I'm gonna head over to what I think is the best cooking spot, which is in this area, down this trap door, in which I can't even remember what this place is called now. The Thieves Guild? Is this the Thieves Guild? I actually don't know what this place is called, but this fire right here is right next to the bank. You literally don't have to move. And I know that stoves give like a bonus to cooking. I think they give like a level bonus, so you you burn less. I am almost 100% sure that this fire does the same thing. I might be wrong about that, but because it's like a constant fire, and it's not like a player-made fire, I'm pretty sure that this also gives the same boost. Even if not, it won't be the end of the world. So I'm going to start off with tuna. 
then lobster, and then swordfish, and hopefully with the fish that we have, we can make it to 70 cooking. So let's get started. Oi, there we go, 70 cooking. And we can now make an admiral pie. I assume that is what we need for this part of the quest, but I've got no idea. That didn't take too long. That really did not take that long at all, to be honest, a couple of hours. We've got 1,600 raw lobsters left. We have all the raw swordfish, a bunch of raw sharks. So we only really needed 1,500 tuna and then a fair few lobster, but now we have the requirements to do King Awogi. So let's head back to Lumbridge and get started. So just before we headed back to Lumbridge, I noticed that in the quest log, it says that 65 combat is recommended. So this makes me think that there might be some sort of fight taking place. And before we start, I just wanna quickly get to 50 crafting so that I can make amulet of strength which will hopefully help me in these battles. I've got a fair bit of gold in the bank, so my plan is to make these into amulets. Let's go. Hey, and there we have 50 crafting, which means we can now craft ruby amulets. So let's just run over to the bank real quick. Get a ruby out. There we go. Craft a ruby amulet unstrung. Nice. Right now, I need a ball of wool, I believe. Oh, we've got one, nice. Then I just use that on that. There we go, got a ruby amulet, and now a cosmic rune and some fire. Here we go, finally upgrading the amulet slot. Doop, boop, a amulet of strength. Look at that. The era of the amulet accuracy is over. Look at this, a proper amulet. Right, it's time to save King Awogi. Let's go. I've brought my Grigri, because I assume I'm going to have to go to Apatow at some point, but I might be wrong. But where is the monkey? There he is. Right, let's inspect him. You need to feed King Awogi his favourite dish. What's that? I have to admit, I'm not sure. Maybe you could ask him. Ask the version of him on Apatow. Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. So we do have to head to Apatow. So we have the Grigri. I can't quite remember how we get there. Oh, we have to fly from the known place, don't we? All right, I'm going to grab some food. Don't think I'll need it because I've got the Grigri now, but and I'm going to take both of them because I've got the ninja one, I've got the normal one. I don't know which one I'll need. Cool. Right, let's head over to the gnome stronghold. Right, we're back. We are back in one of my least favorite places. Let's get that on and let's go. All right, let's talk to him. Do you have a particular favorite dish? No, definitely not. Are you sure? Absolutely, I can't let you have sensitive information like that. So you do have a favourite dish, but you don't want to tell me. I won't tell you anything, and neither will the three monkeys. I made sure of that. I can't have any monkey knowing about it. So if I talk with these three monkeys, they'll tell me all about it. No, now go away and leave me in peace. Right, interesting. Let's talk to this guy. Get away from me, you foul commoner. Jesus Christ, that's rude. Nice guy. Well done on retrieving the captive visitor. Our Wogi was impressed. Okay, they won't talk to me. Who was the third one? Oh, maybe this guy. Maybe Garkor knows because he'd been listening in. Hello. What are you doing now? My squad and I have to remain on this island as undercover operatives. I'm collecting information on our Wogi and his policies. Okay, doesn't tell me about the food. Oh, I'm a little bit stumped. Let's look at the old quest log. He mentioned that three monkeys know. King Awogi would not tell me his favorite food. He mentioned that three monkeys know. Okay, so these are two of them. There's only two in here. There's a third somewhere. Who would it be? Maybe is there a, is there a chef in here? Or oh, there's, a, there's a food shop. It'd make sense if the person running the food shop knew. Let's go. Would you like to buy or sell some food? No, thanks. And that is the end of that conversation, so it's not her or him. What about Hamab? No, that's just a shop as well. Um, the third monkey, could it be one of the guys up here? The priest? Afuba? Nope. One of the people on this side? Can't get to that for some reason. Climb up the fucking ladder. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm standing right next to it. Why can't you climb up it? What is going on? Okay, there we go. Dinardu. Right, none of them. What's down the trap door? Anyone down here? I don't think that. I think it's all the zombies, isn't it? Yeah, all zombies. So I tried the two there. What about this person? The archer. Nope. What about Padula? Don't know who that is. Um. What about the aunt? Nope. Oh, dearie me. It's not. I don't think it's any of these shop people because they just asked me to buy and sell stuff. What about the sleeping monkey? No, nope, too sleepy. Okay. So we spoke to his two assistants and they didn't help. There was no other monkeys near them. Oh, there's actually some in the graveyard, isn't there? Like, what about that person? Don't know who that is. Here we go, this person, Jugo Pull. Right next door, to be fair, right next to this. Not many monkeys come down here. That's quite understandable, really. Don't really understand it at all. I've spent my life here. And that is it. That's the end of that conversation. Why have you spent your life in a graveyard, mate? Okay, I'm lost. I'm not gonna lie. What about this elder guard here? I'm gonna talk to him again. Our Wogi. I have nothing further to say to you. Is it because I'm a ninja? What if I do this? 
What if I turn to a normal one? Okay, no, that's the same. Good day to you. No, that's the same. And that is the same as well. Uh, someone else I just thought of is the guy who stands on top of the guard, uh, on top of the gate. I might try him because I don't know who else it would be. He said the three monkeys here and there's no other monkeys there. These are all guards. All the shop people are just shop people. They can't, you can't interact with them. There's no other like monkey NPCs around here except for that guy up there. So let's head over there and hope that he knows, but it'd be very strange if he did. Right, Cruck. If you don't know, I haven't got a clue does. Hello. Oh, far too busy dealing with the invaders right now. What invaders? There's no one here. Oh jeez, he actually won't talk to me. What if I'm a ninja? Nope, same thing. Who is the third monkey? Unless he meant there's three monkeys that know, including himself. Him and his two little assistants. The the thing says King Awogu would not tell me his favourite food favourite food. He mentioned that three monkeys know. Technically, including him, that is three. Him and then the two. But none of them will talk to me. So what do I do? Let's go back. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go back and look over the footage when I first spoke to Awogi and see if there's any details in the chat because I read it all but nothing jumped out to me but now you won't talk to me again so I can't actually go over that conversation again. So I'm going to have a look at it and see if there's anything that stands out, a bit of a hint as to maybe who I need to talk to. So he says something about the three monkeys as if they're like a collective three. So I don't know where I can find... Oh, the three monkeys! I've just thought of it. So there's three people sitting here, isn't there? Yes, these lot. I forgot about these, this has to be them. Right, what are they doing? What did you say? Did you say something? Who's there? Hello? Hello? Who are you? Doesn't look like a monkey can hear you. Doesn't look like I can see you either. So one can hear, one can see, and one can't talk. Do you know anything about the king's favourite dish? How do you know about that? It's top secret information, you know? I'm also on a top secret mission. The king has a soft spot for roasted giant snake stuffed with sliced banana and monkey nut paste. What the fuck is that? Right, okay. Yep. You need to find some bananas and some monkey nuts and stuff a giant snake with them. It's as simple as that. Every monkey knows where to get hold of nuts and bananas, but I believe the snakes live on a nearby island. I think that'll probably be Karamja. Oh, I get monkey nuts. I know I just saw some in the shop over here. Can I just buy them for real money? Three coins. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is. And I don't think I can use this bank yet. There's a bank on the map, but there's not one here. Oh, I should have brought some coins with me. Okay, cool. So... We know that his favourite dish is a snake stuffed with banana and monkey nuts. The ingredients I need are one banana, monkey nuts and a giant snake. That seems fairly straightforward. I think the giant snake must be Karamja or yeah, it must be like South Karamja perhaps. Giant snake or that, where I came from. Either way, we have to leave to get some coins. So let's go to Ardi because from Ardi we can then go south to Brimhaven, then to Karamja and see if we can get that snake. Right, progress. The problem is that they didn't load in. You can see that from a distance they don't load. Actually, I was standing right next to someone completely forgot. I think I was standing here for ages and I just literally ignored them. Either way, as soon as I went back and looked at the footage and, and, and reread it, the way that he talked about it was like three as a collective and as soon as I thought of that, these guys popped back into my mind. Right, let's head to Ardy. Alright, we are on Brimhaven. There's a snake right here. I don't know if this counts as a giant snake, but we're going to kill it anyway. And we get bones. Interesting. Let's kill this one. No. Giant snake. How do you get snake skin then if they don't drop from these guys? There must be another mob that is like a giant snake. I think maybe the jungle? Big spiders. Whatever that is. Oh, I wonder actually. What if I do... Oh. I can't use it on this place. I was going to try and talk to one of these monkeys, see if they could point me in the right direction. I think I want to try over this side. More snakes, but no giant snakes. A little gnome. What's that person doing here? He's exploring the region for the good of the known people. Have you found anything interesting around here? I've heard strange rumours about something that locals call the Brudu. I haven't quite worked out what they are, but they seem to be some sort of undead whose ghastly fate depends on the way they were killed. What? Alright, you crack on, mate. I haven't got a clue where this snake might be. I'm wondering if it's in the south side, in the Karazi jungle. And I think you need to cut through here with like a hatchet and I didn't bring that. Or a machete. Or one of those things. The guy said on an island near here. And I don't know if that means this one or if that means this one. Or even the Feldip Hills maybe. But it's not an island. Actually neither of these are islands really. Oh, Karamja's an island. That's not really, that's part of the mainland. Uh, I think it might be in the Karazi jungle, you know. I think it might be here. I think I need to go and get a hatchet and a machete. Right, I can get a machete from this shop. Can't remember which one I need, but I'm going to run back, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go to Ardi and then just come back down again and then go into Karazi jungle. I think that's the next play. Right, 
So I think we can just cut our way through this bit here. I think that's how this place works. I've got my axe and my machete. And there are some fucking huge birds. You'll get lost in the jungle without a map. Can I talk to this person and get a map? How do I get into the jungle? The last guy barely escaped with his life. He was on a mission to map the area. How foolish is that? You say he was from some Kandarin or somewhere. Mentioned something about a gilded legend. Okay. So I just can't... I can't even have a go at it. Wherever I click, I just can't go further. What about if I try a little bit further down here? Right, I need a map of some sort. I don't know what that means, but I obviously haven't got it. So I don't think that's going to work. I mean, the one thing is I can't seem to see any snakes. So even if I did get in, which I can't, yeah, I need a map. I don't know where to get the map from, but surely if I needed a map to get there, it would have been part of the requirements if it's from a quest. Which makes me think that maybe it's this island then. There's a dungeon down there that I haven't noticed before. I mean, let's head there. Let's head back to the atoll. But before we fly over, we'll just have a little scout around that island and see what, if there's a big snake somewhere. Fingers crossed, because otherwise I'm a bit confused. That is a, is that, there's a snake there. That's a, oh, they are higher level snakes. Come on, please be a giant snake. I've been poisoned. Come on. No, it didn't drop anything. There's some birds. There's a snake over there. Are you going to drop anything? No, also didn't drop anything. Now, there is a pit here. I think I'm going to go down this pit. It looks dangerous. Are you sure you wish to enter? I mean, I have teleport rune, so I think I'm not going to die. Oh my god, get off me. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, this looks like it. Big snake. This is right, but I have my graceful on and I'm getting attacked. Pray, pray, pray. Okay, cool. I think I should be good now. Oh, that scared the life out of me, that did. Right, I've never seen this place before. Big snake. God, they're very strong as well. They've got a lot of health. Okay, we found it though. This is it, right? This has to be it. Spec it out. Still have no idea what the D skim spec does. Come on. I think I only need one of these, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it and then get the fuck out of here. Yay, snake corpse, that must be the one, right? Let's get out of there. Okay, cool. So that whole detour into Karamja is a complete waste of time. And now we head over to uh, the main place and we can buy the banana and the monkey nuts. Right, let's trade the general store person. Actually, it's the food person, isn't it? Yeah. And let's get a monkey nut and some bananas. I'm actually gonna buy just a couple of these, I guess. And then if I click on this and this. I've got it all. And I think I just use it on it, right? Use, oh, I've eaten it. Let me just get another one. Let's use that on that. Nothing happens. Use that on that. Nothing happens. Let's go back. I've got the ingredients now. Maybe we can talk to these guys again. I didn't really listen to how to actually prepare it. This feels like banana. They should do the job. Are they going to make it for me? Grabs you by the arm. He shakes your head vigorously. I think your friend wants to tell me something. I don't really know what's going on in this conversation, by the way. We have the wrong type of banana. You need a red one. Where do I get a red banana from? There is a tree in the west of the island. Okay, I need a red banana. Banana. Could have told me that at the beginning. Was that over there? I think I can see something in the distance. Oh, I fucking love the way this guy walks. Yeah, right, here's a red banana. Let's grab one of those. The tree is too spiky for even a monkey to climb. It looks like you'll need to find a way to bring the bananas within reach. Ugh, what does that mean? Do I need a rope? Is that what it means? There's a general store over there. I wonder if he sells a rope. Do you have a rope, mate? Oh, he does as well. Alright, let's get one of those. I wonder if I can use a rope to like tie it around and pull it down. Alright, let's use this rope on the banana tree. I don't know if I can do this in monkey form or not. You're just not that great an ape. I think I probably have to do that and then do it. You're not monkey enough to bend that tree. A normal monkey? Oh, oh you know what I think I need? I think I need to become like a big gorilla, don't I? You're just not that great an ape. I think I need to be stronger. How do I do that? Do I have to kill one of the big gorillas in here and then use the bones to get a new grigri? I can't even remember how to make a grigri. I need the talisman that I think I've actually brought the wrong amount of money for if I do need it. I think it's 5k and I have 4k. Oh, it's only 1k. But I think I can, can I get it off actually? I can get off the little child for free. Okay, cool. So we've got another grigri or talisman, whatever. I think I need to go and kill one of the big gorillas in the this place over here. Here to get their bones. Sounds about right, doesn't it? I think you need their bones because I picked up the bones from the ninja when he got killed over here. So let's do that and then we'll take the bones downstairs to that dude. I think that's all they need. I really hope that's all they need because I can't remember what else it is. Do that. Whack that out. And then you're going to die. Hold on. Yes! Actually fucking worked. Let's go. Right, so I actually just um, thought I can check what I need to get this talisman because I've already done it. 
so I went back in my old footage and looked, and I do just need bones and a Grigri, so I've got a oh, talisman even. So I've got both things, so now it's just a case of running back through the underground bit to get to the magic dude, I guess. And I have no energy potions, so I'm going to need to go back to the bank and grab some prayer potions, I think. So let's head over to the rock, and we can grab some potions, sort out our inventory a little bit, and hopefully turn into a gorilla, use the rope on the tree, get the red banana, and then stick the red banana and the monkey nuts in the snake which is a series of words I never expected to say in my life.